So I do a lot of classroom visits, right? I try to visit classrooms three to four days a week and I try to go between eight and 12. Um, and the reason why I do that is because one, I like to monitor the work, but I also like to be in the classroom to see one, one how are students doing and how, and how well students are learning. Um, and also it's an opportunity for me to give feedback to the teacher and, and engage with the teacher and the students. And so the one thing I do want to tell you when I walk into the classroom, the one thing I'm looking for is continuity, uniformity, and consistency in our instructional practices across the board. So when you walk into a classroom, you want to make sure that every student has equity, access, and innovation. Now, you may think that's kind of a strange thing, but it is one equity. Every kid, when you walk into whatever classroom in the district, 72 schools, every kid should be getting the support he or she needs. It doesn't matter where it's at, which school is at. Every kid should have the support that he or she needs because our parents and our students are expecting us to give them the support they need. Secondly, access. Kids should have access. For example, I truly believe that every school should be a STEAM academy. You shouldn't have one or two or three schools that are specialized schools in a school district. Every school should be a STEAM academy because every kid should have access to STEAM. This is a, this is a global world that we live in now. We're in a world of technology. So therefore, if the school around the corner has a science academy, then the other school around the corner should have an academy that meets the needs of that individual school or community. Um, and so STEAM academies, for me, is critical. And that's access and innovation. Be creative. Every school should be creative in their own way. If a school has robotics, great. If a school has pathways and it's a medical pathway, great. But every school, the staff, the, the students, the school community should select, what, how do we be innovative here? So that's why I believe that as I think about the district, when you think about it, we have to be thinking about on the other side of this pandemic, I wanna be clear, it has to be access, equity and innovation because that's the direction we're going and then remember this, this is really important. Our actions, attitude, behaviors, and belief has to reflect access, I mean, equity, access, and innovation. Let me say it again. Our actions, attitudes, behaviors, and belief have to reflect equity, access, and innovation. It can't be a cliche because every student deserves to have the best. And, and everyone knows my reputation. I believe that every kid should get the best of the best. And I believe that every adult within our system, their role and their duty and responsibility is to make sure the kids have that.